Starting Friday, you may have noticed the CNN Express, CNN's mobile news studio. The CNN Express was parked behind USF's Theater One with the goal of supporting CNN's coverage of the debates. Let's take a look inside. Hello, welcome to the CNN bus. Come on inside. Welcome to the CNN Express. This is CNN's mobile bureau. It travels around the country uh, covering politics, economy, and everything else in between. Uh, it's our mobile bureau. Why don't you step this way and I'll show you around a little bit. So, what you're standing in right now is the newsroom or the studio, depending on what our needs are. Right now it's kind of set up in newsroom configuration. So you've got these monitors along the wall which we can program with different incoming camera signals or different TV news uh, outlets that are happening or the game or pretty much whatever we want to watch. On all the sides of the bus, we have power and internet conductivity. When the satellite dishes up, we've got full conductivity. Uh, we have phone lines, everything else. Bus actually thinks it's in Atlanta uh, when the satellite dishes up. Tables pop up, chairs can go on the floor. More tables over here. So this is actually a fairly comfortable newsroom for up to around 12 to 20 people, depending on what our needs are. Uh, it can also be a studio. You take these tables, stow them away, set up three cameras right here, and just bring some guests on for an interview. Uh, during the 08 election, we just met every presidential candidate on board. Hillary Clinton, John McCain, uh, Barack Obama. We actually drove Joe Biden to the airport one time and did an interview as we drove. Uh, Mike Huckabee, Mitt Romney. Everybody's come on board for an interview at one time or another. And it's a nice configuration because we've actually got places in the ceiling where we can put lighting panels. And this is really a bureau in a box. Just about everything that we can do in one of our bureaus back in New York or DC, we can do in smaller form right here on the bus. And let me show you in the back. So right here, let's pop on some lights. This is our post-production area right here. This is the edit bay. You'll see an end.com right up there. We have our full Final Cut Pro suite here on the bus where we, where we can edit all of the footage that comes in, edit stories on the road. Uh, we take a guy named Tom Foreman on the road for a week a month. We do stories out there. YouTube debate, all of those video clips had to pass through the edit bay first and be edited. It's a comfortable chair and it needs to be because I've sat in, on this chair for about the longest stretch of time was about 36 hours straight which is tiring, but uh, we got some good stuff out of that. And as we make our way back, the bus transitions from newsroom workspace to engineering workspace. Along that path, bathroom with emergency shower. Shower has never been used, but the bathroom is a nice convenience to have when you're making way around the country. Galley area right here. And then back there, is engineering. Those are the lights that we use. Back here is engineering. This is where our chief engineer Jordan Placey sits uh, and, and make sure that this will, debate will actually get out on the satellite and get into people's homes. Jordan, wave hi. Nothing. <laughs> Engineers have the, he does the humans work around here pretty much. If it's going to make it on TV, you got to have that guy in the back of the bus making sure that it happens. And that concludes our tour. You may see the CNN Express back on campus for the presidential debates. Stay tuned.